Hello, and welcome to the concise guide to the item transference device, otherwise known as the ITD. This object will allow you to transfer an item from one location to another with relative ease. To use the item transference device, you will need a valid storage locker with a object called a storage bridge attached to it. This storage bridge will give this, the respective locker it is attached to an input and output slot as if it were any other wired item. These slots are unique in that they are able to cooperate with the item transference network. The item transference device can be toggled with the use of a power signal. It, note that it, a power signal is not required to run the ITD. The bottom left slot of the ITD is used to toggle its power. To attach an item to the item transference device, all you need to do is take the output slot of the attached object and put it in the item input slot of the transference device, found on the bottom right. The storage bridge will pick up whatever container is nearest to it, which, generally speaking, means the bottom left corner of the container you put it next to. However, this is not required, and it will pick up the nearest storage container, whether or not it is immediately adjacent. The output slot of the item transference device allows you to take the item you are inputting and output it somewhere else. For instance, if I were to put an item in the left locker, this locker, upon powering of the ITD, will be moved to the right locker. The item transference device is not limited to storage bridges, however. Most, if not all, machines can be attached to the item transference device, including all tiers of extractor, centrifuges, quarries and pumps, and many, many other machines and mechanical doodads. <laughs> The repeater will allow you to take multiple outputs or inputs and link them into a single wire, for the neatness of your wires. If you were to take multiple different laboratory lockers and attach storage bridges to them, for instance, these outputs will all go to the repeater, And then the output can be taken as if it were the output of all of these adjacent chests. The item transference device itself has a myriad of settings. The first of which you will notice is the input and output slot settings. These settings will allow you to decide what slots to pull from and what slots not to pull from, as well as what slots to put into and what slots not to put into. For instance, if I only want to take out of the third slot of the laboratory locker, I would set input slots to three. You will notice, as I put this laboratory locker in here and attach it to the item transference device, that it does not move, despite the fact it should be. However, when put into the third slot of the object, the item disappears and moves into the new container. This can also be useful if you want to output into a specific slot. Normally, it will output into the first slot of, that it will find available. However, should you decide that you do not wish to output into the first slot, you can decide to output into the second slot instead, or any other number you input into this field. The I inverts your setting, meaning right now it will take input from only the third slot. However, upon inverting this setting, it will receive input from all slots but the third. The same is true for the output, in that it will put the item in all but the second slot. This can be extremely useful for using with extraction labs. Many containers are usable with the item transference device, whether or not they may appear to be. For instance, 
The weapon chest has a smooth edge, but the mining chest is also a smooth edge. I seem to have lost my chest. Ha. Huh. Besides that, any container with storage, whether it be a shelf, a shadow chest, a mining chest, or a weapons chest, is able to be connected to an a storage bridge, and thus an item transference device. The second slot of the settings is the filters. These filters will dictate what items can and cannot pass through your item transference device. These items can come from any tab of your inventory, whether or not they are lights, objects, materials, food, or even seeds and saplings. All tabs of your inventory are able to be used in these filters. Putting an item into these filters makes it to where no other item save for that item is pooled. There is also inverted logic for these, so you can decide you want to take all items but the item you have filtered for. There are also different kinds of filters, as found in the third window. These filters are exact, type, and category. Exact will search for exactly the item you have put in. This is likely what you will be using a lot during your use of the item transference device. Type will search for the item type that is in the item window. Underneath the name of the item, console keyboard, you can see its type is wire. If you put an item in this slot and select type as your filter setting, it will only pull items with the wire category. For instance, it would pull storage bridges and repeaters, but not doors. Category will make it pull from a full category of the inventory tab. This means it would pull anything out of this tab, but nothing out of this one. Again, invert logic is true for this as well. You can have it pull from all tabs but the objects tab, or all types but the wire type. The last settings are even split and slot split. These settings are used to divide items evenly among multiple containers. This is very helpful when attempting to use multiple extraction labs. These containers, of course, can be anything. So, for instance, if we were to take from this laboratory locker and set the item transference device to even split and only take from the protocyte fuel cells and only put these items in the second slot of our laboratory lockers. We can then attach the output to all of these inputs, insert our protocyte fuel cells, and find them divided evenly amidst the containers. Um, this one decided it was having a bad day. Anyway, that should be all you need to know about the item transference device and its uses. Get creative and remember, nothing is ever this simple. The item transference device can be used for large factories and small scale automation as well. <laughs> Thank you for watching and good luck in your endeavors.